Hey guys, what's up? If you don't know me, my name is Sarah, and you've stumbled upon the most amazing vlog, like, ever. So to stay in that joyous and amazing Christmas spirit, I thought I'd do a vlog topic about all the things I don't understand about the Christmas or holiday traditions. The Christmas tree. I like the Christmas tree. I think it's very pretty, and we put up one every year. What I don't like are the ornaments. I don't like metal hooks because if you're like me you're really clumsy and if they prick your finger then you sit there and bleed for 10 minutes and then you just don't want to decorate the christmas tree the mistletoe you might think that i don't like the mistletoe because i don't have a significant other guess what that's not why i hate the mistletoe i don't understand why i have to stand under a little thing for somebody to kiss me hello if i want somebody to kiss me i will make it known that i want them to kiss me santa claus I love the concept of a guy coming into my house who knows everything I've done this year, giving me presents. Like, that seems safe. The candy cane. Every year, you get lots of candy cane. And I will say, I like different flavors. What I don't like is trying to fit this part in my mouth. Like, who made the idea and the concept that a candy cane should be shaped this way? Because, honestly though, I it's painful. And it makes my gag reflex react. And then I just don't want to put a candy cane in my mouth. So, yeah. Thanks whoever created the candy cane. So, now we're going to move on to New Year's traditions. And I'm actually not as picky as you think I am with New Year's. You'd think, oh my gosh, I'm Scrooge. That's not the case. Um, I just, for Christmas for me, it was really different growing up. Like, it was really great and was really kind of good, but I don't like the concept of, like, spending 500 hours with my family, which is what it tended to be, or, like, watching all my cousins get really expensive gifts and then realizing that I couldn't give them an expensive gift because I come from a different, you know, non-rich side of the family. Um, so New Year's was actually a big difference for me. Um, I like fireworks, um, it was, they were actually one of my favorite things ever, which you would seem very surprised, because if you've seen my other past videos of where, like, I freak out over fireworks, um, you would say that I'm lying. But actually, ever since that I've gotten to see the WEB and fireworks live, and ever since Hannah decided to put a sparkler in my face, and other things that could possibly kill me, I've been very... Mm, chill about the fireworks. I'm not as scared as I used to be, however I probably will never ever hold a sparkler again just because I do not like it when they pop. So things that I really don't understand about New Year's is the banging of the pots and pans. Are you trying to wake everyone up in your neighborhood? And like growing up I used to do it all the time but now that I'm older I'm like my neighbors must hate me. Like what if you're like that person that's like hung over and all you want to do is sleep and then all of a sudden it's midnight and these kids are coming out and they're like banging on pots and pans and you're like i'm drunk stop it like that would be awful so i think this year i'm gonna be a lot more considerate and not bang pots and pans um however i also don't understand why every year it has to be in new york with the ball drop why can't it be like in kentucky or in cincinnati somewhere where i can actually go and see it i think that would be really cool if it went around the United States every year. I mean, there, there are 50 states. Well, kind of. If you count the commonwealths, there are 50 states. If you don't count them, there's like 42 states. Anyways, so come on, New York, share the ball. I promise I am so not Scrooge. I just am really picky on what I like in the holidays. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, comment down in the skirt. And as always, I will see you next Saturday. Dream on. Bye.